from makeshift trauma centers to ambulances and medical staff. That's what the scene looks like in the port city of Kalamata, where dozens of migrants lost their lives and scores have been rescued. After the ship, they were on capsized off the coast of the Peloponnese Peninsula, south of Greece. The boat was believed to be heading from Libya to Italy. While the number of those on the boat is still yet not known, the vice mayor of the city of Kalamata says that many are still missing at sea. We knew from the first moment that there were more than 500 people on that boat. We know that 104 came here to the port, four airlifted to nearby hospitals. Those in the hospitals have symptoms of hypothermia, and the people here don't seem to have any serious issues. We heard the number of people, the boat was high. Either way, we are prepared for the worst. According to the Hellenic Coast Guard, the boat, in apparent distress, was first spotted on Tuesday by the European Union border agency Frontex in international waters around 80 kilometers southwest of the southern Greek coastal town of Pylos. A Greek Coast Guard vessel then approached the boat, which was believed en route to Italy, and offered help. Greek officials say the help was refused. According to the Ministry of Migration, most of those on the board were young men in their 20s and believed to be from Egypt, Syria and Pakistan. While the crisis is still unfolding, the Greek Ministry of Migration called the EU to do more. People. Those that were saved at sea are being treated, but we are again facing another disaster. The EU must work harder in this field. We cannot afford any more lives being lost in the sea. Hundreds of rescue workers are still on the scene as part of the operation and are likely to be here for the days to come. But as the number of those who lost their lives and those still missing is unknown, by the minutes and hours that are going by, the chances of finding them at sea is fading. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN from the city of Kalamata.